For more than 15 years, Tesla has run on lithium-ion. But now Elon Musk just dropped a bombshell. The 2026 Tesla Model 2 will ship with aluminum-ion batteries, a tech many scientists once wrote off as unworkable. Even though we've covered stories about aluminum-ion before, it would be a huge oversight not to bring you the latest update, even if it feels a bit familiar. So why would Tesla risk everything on a battery the industry said could never scale? And what do the raw numbers actually reveal? Is this the knockout punch to BYD and Volkswagen, or Elon Musk's riskiest gamble yet? Today we're cutting straight to the facts. How fast can aluminum ion charge compared to your current EV? You're watching Auto Gear Shift, the channel that doesn't recycle fluff or rumors. We break Tesla news down with numbers, data, and context, so you know exactly what's hype and what's real. Right now, we're on the road to 6,611 subscribers. If you're tired of noise and want clear, no-nonsense analysis, hit subscribe and turn on the bell. Think of it as your pit stop. Every click fuels us to keep bringing you the facts that other channels won't. Energy density. Can aluminum ion compete? Energy density is the first number most engineers and buyers look at, and here aluminum ion faces an uphill battle. Current estimates put these cells at 160 to 200 watt-hours per kilogram, while modern lithium-ion NCM packs used in Tesla's Model 3 or Hyundai's Ionic 5 deliver closer to 250 to 270 watt-hours per kilogram. On a practical scale, that gap means a 50 kilowatt hour aluminum ion pack would store roughly 8 to 10 kilowatt hours less energy than an equivalent lithium pack, translating to about 30 to 40 fewer miles of driving range. But the story doesn't end with raw capacity. The advantage of aluminum ion is not how far you can drive per charge, it's how quickly you can refill. Lab results and early prototypes suggest a 0 to 100% recharge in just 10 minutes. Compare that with Tesla's current supercharger 5.3, which still takes around 30 minutes to move a lithium-ion pack from 10 to 80 percent. The gap is even more striking when you look at controlled testing. Researchers at the University of Queensland reported that aluminum-ion cells could cycle up to 60 times faster than lithium-ion, meaning their charge acceptance is on a completely different level. For drivers, this changes the daily math. Imagine a Model 2 with a 250-mile rating. Even if that figure is 20 miles less than a Model 3 standard range, the fact that you can add 250 miles of charge during a coffee stop instead of waiting half an hour at a charger flips the equation. In effect, the aluminum-ion battery asks, Do you really need 300 miles in one shot? Or would you rather have unlimited miles available 10 minutes at a time? Which would you prefer for your daily drive? Comment 1 if you'd rather have maximum range per charge, even if it takes longer to recharge. Comment 2 if you'd choose super fast charging, even if each full charge gives a bit less range. Share your reason in the comments. What matters more to you? Distance or speed? Curious what's more about aluminum ion battery? Here we are. Charge cycles and longevity. Can aluminum ion really last decades? One of the most overlooked but critical measures of a battery is how many times it can be charged and discharged before capacity fades. Today's lithium ion packs in Tesla vehicles average between 2,000 and 3,000 full cycles, which translates to roughly 500,000 miles of driving before noticeable degradation sets in. That number is already considered industry leading compared to many legacy EVs. Aluminum Ion aims to push that boundary far beyond what most drivers would ever need. Early projections suggest these cells could endure close to 10,000 full charge cycles, effectively quadrupling the life of a lithium pack. Put into real-world terms, a Tesla Model 2 rated at 250 miles per charge could theoretically cover more than 2.5 million miles before the battery chemistry breaks down. The contrast is striking. A Model 3 buyer today can expect half a million miles before major battery concerns. A Model 2 with aluminum ion, if the numbers hold, would stretch that figure to five times higher.
meaning the car could easily outlast the average ownership span of multiple vehicles combined. For a market that has long worried about EV batteries degrading too quickly, Tesla is positioning aluminum ion as not just a short-term cost saver, but as a technology that could redefine what lifetime battery actually means. Production costs and vehicle price. How is aluminum the real game changer? The economics behind aluminum ion may be just as disruptive as its chemistry. Raw aluminum is among the most abundant metals on Earth, costing 15 to 20 times less than lithium on a per ton basis. That fundamental difference cascades through the supply chain and directly impacts the price of every kilowatt hour of storage. Current estimates place aluminum ion packs at roughly $60 to $70 per kilowatt hour, less than half of the $130 to $140 it takes to produce a comparable lithium ion unit today. Scale that to a compact EV like the Tesla Model 2, which is expected to carry a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack. Using today's lithium cells, that pack would cost around $6,500 before assembly. Replace it with aluminum ion, and the figure drops to between $3,200 and $3,500. That is a savings of more than $3,000 per vehicle, almost entirely from the battery alone. For Tesla, the implications are clear. Battery costs have long represented up to one-third of an EV's sticker price. Cutting that figure in half makes it possible for Musk to keep the Model 2 near the much-publicized $25,000 target, and in some markets possibly even lower. When stacked against rivals like BYD, whose Dolphin EV sells for the equivalent of about $25,000 with conventional lithium packs, aluminum ion could allow Tesla to compete not by shrinking margins, but by fundamentally rewriting the cost equation. For consumers, this doesn't just mean a cheaper car, it signals the arrival of a Tesla that finally hits mass market affordability without compromising profit. Range. Is 250 miles enough for the mass market? Early estimates put the 2026 Tesla Model 2 standard at around 250 miles, or roughly 400 kilometers per charge. That's a step down from the Model 3 standard range, which delivers about 272 miles. But it essentially matches the Chevy Bolt's 259 miles and the BYD Dolphin's 250 miles. In other words, Tesla is slotting the Model 2 right into the heart of the compact EV segment rather than chasing top-end distance figures. For context, the average American driver covers about 37 miles per day. At that rate, a Model 2 could last six to seven days on a single charge. Compare that with the Bolt, which would stretch to about seven days, or the Model 3, which could handle just over a week. The differences in range, in practical terms, come down to only one extra commute or two grocery runs. Not a deal breaker for most drivers. The real twist is how Tesla is expected to leverage aluminum ions charging speed. While 250 miles might look modest next to the Hyundai Ioniq 6's 361 miles, or the Lucid Air's 410 miles, the Model 2 could recharge from empty to full in around 10 minutes. That's faster than it takes to fill up a gas tank and nearly six times quicker than a Bolt, which needs about one hour on a 55 kilowatt DC charger. Even the Model 3, when plugged into Tesla's 250 kilowatt supercharger, typically requires 25 to 30 minutes to hit 80%. If the numbers hold, the Model 2's shorter range becomes less of a weakness and more of a calculated trade-off, where downtime is virtually eliminated. Aluminum ion promises lightning-fast top-ups, potential decades of use, and a price point that makes Tesla accessible to more drivers than ever before. So, here's the question for you. Would a car that charges in 10 minutes change your daily driving habits? Could a battery rated for millions of miles actually convince you to stick with the same Tesla for decades? If this got your wheels turning, go ahead and give the video a like. Drop your thoughts in the comments. We love hearing what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to Auto Gear Shift and tap the bell so you're always in the loop on Tesla news, leaks, and insider updates that you won't get anywhere else.